I'm seeing a lot of like detox drink. This helps you cleanse. I'm a coffee addict, so I drink black coffee. Yeah, that's why she lost her. You know, these tips, I just feel like they're so widely spread that almost everyone has tried them at one point. What's going on everyone? Welcome to another reaction video. Today we're gonna check out some weight loss TikTok tips because as we all know weight loss isn't just about the diet. There are many other things we can do to slim down but also health isn't just about weight loss. So today we're also gonna check out whether these weight loss tips are also health promoting because we don't just want to lose the weight and slim down we also want to improve our physical health our mental health and just generally our well-being so without further ado let's get right into it if you want to lose weight make the string use cinnamon honey and lemons prep your jars in advance put one tsp of cinnamon Use hot water and fill it up to the top. This jar holds eight ounces of water. This also equals to one cup. You can drink one in the morning and one at night. Okay, so there are three things she uses here, cinnamon, lemons, and honey. Now the lemons are pretty great. I don't have lemon water like every day because I feel like sometimes it can irritate the gut a little bit, but every once in a while I love a good cold lemon water in the morning. It's very refreshing, it's very nice, and it's also kind of satisfying, I feel. So that's really nice. Um, what I'm not so happy about is the honey. So people often ask me whether I eat honey on a vegan diet. And my answer to that is no, because the main reason is not because of any weight loss or health reasons. The main reason is really because I don't want to exploit the honeybees. Uh, one tablespoon of honey, for one tablespoon of honey, one bee needs to literally work their entire lifetime which is crazy to me and no it's not effortless for them to create that bee vomit so that's the main reason why i do not consume honey another reason is also just i don't really find it tastes that good like if i had the choice between honey and some fresh fruit like a mango a honeydew melon or some papaya i would much rather have that and then also the fresh fruit is much better because it comes in its whole form with water with fiber with nutrients with vitamins with antioxidants with so many amazing things that the honey doesn't have and then on top of that you know honey is slightly acidic it's not alkaline so if we want to experience optimal health we definitely want to nourish our body with alkaline foods aka plants fruits vegetables and um not the acidic stuff so that's just about the honey and then the cinnamon i personally like cinnamon in terms of like having a treat every once in a while like i really love the combination of cinnamon and dates but i'll maybe have that every two months or three months i have some cinnamon because cinnamon is also a little bit of a stimulant but i don't think there's anything wrong if you really enjoy your cinnamon have it but just know that it's also suppressing your appetite which this like suppressant doesn't last forever at one point the suppressive like effect from the cinnamon will go away and then there might be a chance of like a binge because you haven't been getting enough carbohydrates so i think these things are just very important to be aware of if you are struggling with binge eating to not have anything that like suppresses your appetite a lot but to instead just eat clean carbohydrates and fuel your body Three ways to lose fat without counting calories. Replace one meal every day with a big ass salad. Put some protein on it too. Drink at least. I like the idea about having a salad. I don't think it's necessary to add a ton of protein to the salad. I personally have found that when I eat a lot of protein, I get bloating. It doesn't digest as well and I don't get the energy from it, especially when you're losing weight and you're in a slight calorie deficit. You want to make sure you keep your serotonin high. So the only way to do that is to eat a ton of sugar. Like no, you don't have to eat pure sugar, but just, you know, fruit, carbohydrates and to do other things that 
boost serotonin. So that's very important. Like for example, sleep more, go to the sunshine, etc. Um, but yeah, it's good to have leafy greens. It's good to have salad and still always also really, really important to get those carbohydrates in. It's eight ounces of water before every meal. And I think that's also a good idea. Just really, really important. Don't eat with your meals and don't eat right before the meals because otherwise, again, it might lead to bloating, digestive issues. But yeah, it's great to drink more water. Don't let one bad meal turn into a whole month. Get back on track. Yeah, I think those were some nice tips. I like the last one as well. So yeah. No. Um, yeah. I would agree. It's pretty dry. There's not much water. There's not much fiber in it. That for me is a clear no as well. It's very high in cholesterol, very high in fat. So again, it won't really help with that serotonin boost we want to have on our weight loss journey. And then also we're exploiting a chicken. So we don't want to do that just for our benefit of losing weight. I actually used to eat a lot of eggs back in my teenage years because I thought they were healthy and they would help me, you know, maintain a good physique. And in the short term, it definitely does work. But in the long term, it led to me not feeling my best. Like I remember when I was 18, 19, yeah, and 18, I started to feel lethargic and just not really good. I f feel like my body was really clogged up at that time from all these eggs that I was eating, like a very classic would be like two eggs for breakfast with, I don't know, some vegetables or something, you know? And uh, definitely did I also not have the ability to focus very well when I was at school. So I definitely think I could have done a lot better. I mean, I wasn't a bad student, but I think I could have done a lot better if I had been carved up back then, so. Yeah, then I agree as well, because it's a combination of sugar and fat. So when you eat that combination, then your body cannot actually absorb the sugar from the muffin, from the food, because the fat blocks around, like it lays itself around the blood or the cells. So the sugar can't enter the cell, which can lead to blood sugar spikes and problems. So if you have sugar, definitely always make sure you have it without a ton of fat. Ideally, no overt fat because there's already enough fat in fruits and vegetables and carbohydrates. No. Yeah. yeah, carrots are great. I mean, they're the easiest to digest, but I like having carrots every once in a while, especially steamed, so they're easier to digest. Mm. No. Yeah, I'm also not a big fan of white bread um, and gluten. Again, I feel like it leads to bloating it leads to puffiness i just it's very especially bread is very dry it's very hard for me to get satiated from bread i prefer to focus really on high volume foods yeah, yeah greens are really awesome they also help with detoxification in the body and yeah, very satiating as well because of the high fiber, nutrient, mineral content. Because satiation doesn't just come from calories. It also comes from feeling full and from, you know, getting in the nutrients, the minerals. No. I agree. Yeah, yeah the apple, I obviously also agree. <laughs> Apples are really nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, again, we have the honey, the cinnamon. This seems to be kind of a trend. Um, yeah, like on an empty stomach, first thing in the morning, I really like having water, just pure water, ideally from the fridge so it's so cold. That's what my body craves right after getting up and I feel my absolute best. If I have anything else, first thing, it interferes with how I feel. And again, if we don't feel our best, we're not going to go out and move our body. We're not going to make the healthiest food choices. So all of that will then lead to weight loss stagnation um, or even weight gain. So, yeah.
Okay, so she also talks about bloating. Yeah, it looks like um, celery, apples, lemon, and apple cider vinegar. Pretty sure that's what it is. Um, yeah, the first three things are great. Celery is great. Apples are great. Um, I love lemon, water, lemon. I no longer consume any apple cider vinegar. I also used to do that back in the days. You know, these tips, I just feel like they're so widely spread that almost everyone has tried them at one point. And again, vinegar is acidic. It's irritating our gut. And yes, it does suppress appetite. So in the short term, it did help me to release weight, but it didn't work in the long term because at one point your body's going to start rebelling. It's going to say, give me my carbohydrates, give me my calories. And then that can lead to overeating, to binges, where you might end up eating two or three pizzas, you know. So definitely we do not want to overload our digestive system with so much food because we're so hungry because we've been suppressing our appetite for so long. Probiotics, I'm also not a big fan of personally. I mean, of course, to each their own. I just don't really see any benefit in it. And I think I would much rather spend that money on some good fruit. So, yeah. But yeah, the apples, the lemon, the celery is great. Um, I'm wondering if she just eats it or if she also juices it. Got a cup of water that I'm going to put inside right now. Oh yeah, she makes So I'm going to start by blending my celery first. Now I'm adding in my green apples. Now I'm adding in my shot of apple cider vinegar and squeezing my lemon juice in here. This is a lot fucking harder to do with one hand. Oh shit. Go ahead and strain your juice. And that's it, you guys. How to lose weight and how to deep bloat your stomach within minutes. Thank me later. Yeah, I think it's cool. I also like that she shows a simple option to do this juice without a juicer. I personally don't have like a fancy juicer. I have like a citrus press, but I don't have a fancy juicer. So if I ever crave celery juice or apple juice or whatever, I blend it up with my stick blender and I have like a nut milk bag and I milk the blended thing and then I have some incredible juice and I would even say if I just want one glass it's probably even faster to do that because you don't have to clean the big juicer and I'm personally I don't drink juice like every day because it's so much work and uh, I would much rather just cut open a melon or make a banana smoothie because it's faster and I personally also feel like it's a bit more satiating because of the fiber content um, but yeah, every once in a while it's so awesome to have a juice and there are of course many amazing benefits to it. So yeah. Hi, so I've lost nine pounds in three days doing this lemonade detox. This is the same. Nine pounds in three days. I don't really believe that that would be purely fat. It would probably be uh, water retention that she released and then maybe glycogen stores emptying because... I'm not sure yet what it's going to be, but probably some drink that suppresses the appetite. So then when you eat less, your glycogen stores are going to be empty. So just to know that, you know, it doesn't, it's not possible to lose nine pounds in three days, just fat. So, um, yeah. Same detox that Beyonce did in 2006 to lose 20 pounds in 14 days for her role as Dina in Dreamgirls. This is also called the Master Cleanse Diet. It cleanses out the kidneys and the digestive system. It also dissolves toxins that have formed in any part of your body throughout the years. During this cleanse, no other foods or drinks are to be consumed, but I'm a coffee addict, so I drink black coffee. Yeah, that's why she lost her. <laughs> you know, water weight and glycogen stores. It's most likely not gonna be fat. And such a restrictive way of eating where you're not eating at all. I mean, I'm not a big hater against water only fasting where you're only drinking water i've done these things in the past however the body is really smart whenever i refeed it again and i got back into eating food my body would get back to the weight 
I was before the fast. So like fasting or not eating any solid food. Um, I mean, a juice fast is a little bit of another story, but not eating any solid food. I wouldn't say it's a very sustainable long-term way of releasing weight. Um, I'm very happy to see that there's no honey in here. I mean, we've seen this kind of drink three times now, which seems kind of crazy to me. I'm very happy to see there's no honey. Um, but yeah, the other things just appetite suppressants um so yeah and also instead of having maple syrup and water i mean it's good she's still ingesting some sugar some carbohydrates why not just have like a real juice like a freshly squeezed orange juice um i'd much rather have that because it's more in its whole form the water has from the orange juice has been filtered by the plant by the orange so it's a very pure form of H3O versus, I'm guessing it's probably going to be tap water or reverse osmosis or something like that. It's not the same kind of water. So um, yeah, those are just some thoughts. But yeah, I think that was it. This drink is meant to boost your metabolism and give you enough calories and carbs to get you through the day. Cayenne pepper is a metabolic booster. Maple syrup is a natural unprocessed. Yeah, this theory that like, pepper and spicy things boost your metabolism i don't really believe that i think it's really just that again it stimulates your digestive system it stimulates your gut and you feel a little bit less hungry and then you eat less and then you burn fat so like i don't really believe that pepper and stuff boosts your metabolism but she is right about that it's nice that that way you're still getting in some carbohydrates. And I guess if you're like really busy, you don't have any time to make juice. I personally would just like eat the fresh fruit, but I don't see anything wrong with adding some maple syrup into your water. So it's sugar, which gives you energy and lemons contain antioxidants to flush out impurities from your system. All right, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed. Oh yeah, there's one more. Okay, I'll just mute the audio. I'm seeing a lot of like detox drink, this helps you cleanse. I think it's important to realize that it's not the food we put in, it's not the drinks we put in that detoxify our body. Our body is always detoxifying from everyday life, from the environment, from the food we eat. So whenever we step out of our body's ways and we do not put any junk in there, then the body has a much better ability to detoxify at a, I guess, higher rate. So that's why these drinks don't really help. It's just that when you consume these kinds of drinks, you probably don't consume any junk with it. So that's why our body then detoxifies. I think it's just important to mention that. Yeah, it's nice to see some fruit. Um, but yeah. I think it's important to realize that. Okay. The strawberries are very nice. I personally would just have the entire plate with strawberries. I don't really am a big fan of having fat for breakfast for my first meal because again, it clogs up the system. And then when we have it first thing in a day, our body can't actually absorb the sugar from the fruit, from the carbohydrates we eat, from the bread. And then we are not feeling energized. So when I have fruit for breakfast first thing in a day, like I just had some melon, I feel fired up because my glycogen stores are full. My cells have absorbed the sugar because I'm not eating it with any fat. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go out for a bike ride. I'm ready to film these YouTube videos. So it's a whole different story when you don't add any fat to your breakfast. And again, it'll also help you to lose weight because fat is the most calorie dense nutrient. And we don't really need it to feel energized to get things done throughout the day. So... I don't mind having a little bit fat in the evening, you know, having some avocado, having some hemp seeds, having some stuff like that in the evening. But breakfast, lunch for me is always no overt fats, meaning nothing like no oil, no seeds, no nuts, nothing like that. 
just pure carbohydrates. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see the strawberries, nice to see some fruit. All right, that was the video. If you want to see some more reaction videos, then check out my reaction video playlist and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.